Hola amigos, this is Level 12 and today I want to talk about something that has been on my mind for quite a while. I don't even want to, s uh, it hasn't been quite a year this has been on my mind, but it's, it's been a while. So today I want to talk about why Hitalia isn't sustainable um, for YouTube. And by that I mean like, if you want to create a Hitalia YouTube channel, <laughs> oh boy, you're gonna, you're gonna struggle a little in that area. And what do I mean by this? And simply it's that Hitalia as a topic for a YouTube channel is not very sustainable and there's some reasons why I'll get into some examples as well. And um, oftentimes creators, the biggest thing I see is getting burnout from trying to make enough quality content to satisfy both subscribers and the YouTube algorithm because the YouTube algorithm doesn't doesn't like to push videos that say are less than like five minutes, are really short, or um, or have copyrighted material in them, such as copyrighted music or sounds or whatever. And like, if you don't upload like a lot, like even uploading once a week, YouTube doesn't really, YouTube kind of looks at you like, all right now, all right. But yeah, so uploading like more than once a week is really hard for a lot of Hitalia uh, content creators simply because of the content they do. Either it takes a long time to make or the research takes a while. And just, it's it's a constant battle that every YouTuber is going to face with the YouTube algorithm, but I feel like for Hitalia YouTubers especially, it hurts us. So Hitalia also has a very fluctuating community. Sometimes the fandom is thriving. When I first started making Hitalia videos, it wasn't hard to get like 50 or 100 or even like 200 views. And now when I make Hitalia videos, like yeah, I struggle to get like 200, 300, like it's, it's insane. And sometimes it's dying, like, a bunch of, like, no one in the Hitalia community will tell you that Hitalia goes through fluctuations of its living and breathing and it's just, like, dying. Like, it's this wave, and I wish I had put in, like, a little graph of, you know, troughs and crests and all this for, like, waves. You just gotta catch it at the right moment, and trust me, it's hard when you crash back down. So who do I mean specifically? Well, <laughs> we, us the faces of Hitalia. So these are YouTubers I consider, including myself, not gonna lie, to be a face or an ambassador of Hitalia. The anime, the fandom, the community, and everything surrounding it because we push a lot of that content. Now, I myself and HTML there on the end, Hitalia took my life, I will only be referring to her as HTML. Um, not so much recently, like especially recently for me, I've just been making content on whatever I want. And let me tell you, I have felt so good doing that. But Head of Facts and Creamy Maple really do push the Italia community. If you were to ask me, hey, who do you think is like real good on the face of Italia? I, I would probably tell you Head of Facts. And then I, if you were asked, if you were gonna ask, oh, who's a really good Italia edit person? I'd say Creamy Maple, you know, they're just, they're great, but when I mean experiencing the burnout in the YouTube algorithm, let me just explain with my examples. So for me specifically, right around this era of my YouTube channel, I was really feeling the burnout of creating Hitalia content. And you can kind of see that with like the titles and the content and other things that are going on around it. Like I was doing Heta Oni. This was like when I was first doing Heta Oni and was so passionate about it. Uh, but also, this was uh, school. I had a lot of school commitments to do. We were getting right there. The physics rocket launch was like November, I believe. It was it was a lot. There was a lot going on, and this is where I started to feel my waning love for Italia. Where I'm like, okay, creating these videos is fun and all, but like it's it's really burning me out. I'm having a really, I'm just struggling to make these videos, which is part of the reason why I started Hit Oni, because I knew it was a, it was an easy way to make Italia content, and I knew people wanted to watch Hit Oni. I've seen so many comments like, oh, could you play Hit Oni? Could you do this? And I was just like, okay, well, I know people want to see it, so I'll just do it. This is where kind of there's an upswing of me getting back into Hitalia. But now, if you were to look at my channel, like my most recent uploads, yes, there are Hitalia videos, but there's more with current fandom I'm on, such as Breaking Bat, Beastars, Onward. I just like making content on things that I'm currently experiencing. And it's not really Hitalia. Like I'll watch Hitalia videos and it's a lot like, putting in a lot of effort for me to make Italia videos is 
because I want them to be perfect. I want them to be great. And if I can't do that, then I don't want to make them. Nowadays, how I bypass the burnout of Italia videos is just don't force them. Like, you, like, Italia characters are sports, really. Like, I thought of the idea and I'm like, ah, that seems kind of fun, but like, really, how, how good of an idea is that? We're really pushing the Italia content to its limits there. And I so much more prefer to do like more research style videos, which I would love to do that with Italia, but I currently have two research papers due for school that I have not started on. So priorities. Anyways, and that's just my personal experience with making Italia videos. I still love the show, by the way, like it is still one of my favorite animes. I will buy all the merch that I possibly can, but making videos on it, constantly talking about it, kill kills me like I get so burnt out doing that and listen as someone who has all the free time in the world pretty much right now I still can't make myself to pump out a Hitalia video every day so the next person we're going to talk about is Hedifax and so I feel like Hedifax has been struggling with oh, I didn't get this one clip I'll talk about it so I feel like Hedifax is struggling with burnout as well a little bit and or just wanting to branch out into other content because she isn't just a Hitalia YouTuber. Like, I've talked to her. She likes, I mean, she loves history. Like, I think a lot of people who like Hitalia love history, but she loves history and languages and travel and all this stuff. I mean, granted, she can't travel right now, but anyways. So this first uh, little uh, thing on the community tab says, so Eurovision is coming up and I'm wondering whether I should post my yearly Eurovision reviews here or on a second channel. I'm not sure how many of you are, are how many of you are into Eurovision? So I know how to fax, just based off the stuff she posts, probably wants to do things other than Italia. Not saying that she doesn't like Italia anymore, but she wants to do other things. And here I can kind of see another little segment of burnout. Since I have 18k subscribers, I know I need to do a top 10, but I am out of ideas, burnout, uh, many, any ideas on what I should do. Maybe it doesn't have to be a top 10 at this point because I don't know what I could do at this point. And listen, do things not to tell you. Every time she has said, oh, I kind of want to do this video on this anime and I, I am always 100% go for it because Listen, I don't watch her content just because I like Italia. If that was the case, I would be subscribed to so many more Italia channels. I like her content because I like her. <laughs> I like her, the way she, I like her reasoning, her research, her everything. I just love her video style and I would love to see it in other formats. Like the video she did for April Fools on how to make a Tokyo Mew Mew OC. Even though I, I have never watched Tokyo Mew Mew and I never will, I watched it just because I was like, all right, what's she gonna say? And she had another video that she had to take down due to copyright about her top 10 like favorite anime. And bro, I love that. More, please, more. She also has a video on like Boku no Hero Academia and like something about them. I think that was another April Fool's video, but I'm just like, make more videos not about Hitalia. I don't care what you make them on. Just make them. Jeez, follow your heart. <laughs> and I feel like, I think the biggest point I'm trying to get at is don't get trapped in a box. <laughs> a lot of YouTubers, a lot of Hitalia YouTubers get trapped in this box and I'm just like, get out of it. Come on. You know how to get out of it. You know what you can do. Come on. <laughs> And this was posted on her Amino, which, listen, I have a love-hate relationship with Amino. So every now and then, like every like six months, I get back on it just to check up, see how everyone's doing, are they living, are they breathing, kind of thing. But she posted this a year ago on her Amino, a little bit over a year ago, actually. And it says, uh, I'm planning, which, by the way, she has not started the second channel, to my knowledge. I'm planning on starting a second channel where I will post travel stuff, language videos, videos on international news, Eurovision, and stuff that isn't anime related, but I can't come up with a good name. So I'm going to ask on here for suggestions and she lists them here. And granted, this isn't anime related at all, but hey, I would probably watch it because I like travel. I don't like to travel, but I like learning about other countries. I like language. International news is kind of eh. Eurovision is kind of eh. And I don't know what other stuff that isn't anime related, but I would probably watch it because it's Hedifax. I just like her content. But again, you can do things other than Hitalia on one channel. Ooh. I feel like she has it. She and HTML have it the worst. Like Creamy Maple and I, we have usernames that aren't necessarily associated with Hitalia. 
but Herfax and HTML have that in their name, so I guess maybe it's a little bit harder for them to not rebrand, but to post videos about things other than Hitalia. So I kind of understand where she's in this box, but I would love even just, even if she just posted different anime stuff, different things on her current channel or made a second channel that she had more, I'm not saying she doesn't have passion for Italia. Let me stop that sentence right there. But that she has other passions. <laughs> oh boy, we almost got in trouble there. But I'm just, I just wish there was more. Please, please. So next is Creamy Maple. And again, I'm not saying all of these, we all have burnout. We're all just suffering here. That's not what I'm saying. But I'm saying burnout is evident. <laughs> it's a trend amongst Hita popular, I, I, well, I'm not popular, but other Italian YouTubers. Any ideas slash suggestions for a new video, for a new video uh, posted by Creamy Maple. And she does edits and stuff. And I love, I watch her edits sometimes. I don't, I'm not subscribed to her, but every now and then I'll just look up her channel and watch a couple edits because that's, that's how I, <laughs> that's how I just vibe on her channel. And listen, I know edits, and it, this is another thing, a lot of her videos are like really short, like a lot of them are less than five minutes. And, you know, that's like, that it's, YouTube doesn't push that content. Now granted, if you're just deep in Hitalia, Yes, YouTube will suggest these to you, but unless they get like a lot of traction, you're likely not going to see these videos because they're so short. Granted, the views are like great. Like I'm looking at the views now, that 74K, like bro, amazing. But then as we can see, Creamy Maple's branching out. She has a has been hotel video, which is like one of the least viewed on this little screen. We have a country humans video and uh, we have another country humans video, country balls, I don't, I have no idea. But as we can see, like, she has other ideas. There's things she wants to do. And I'm wondering, does she not post them because she has a lot of Italian videos? Or, like, what? what's the deal here? And I really hope that it's not the case that she's not posting them because it's like, oh, I, I'm a Italian YouTuber. I can't, I can't post other things. And I really hope that's not the case because people love Has Been Hotel and there are people in the country humans fandom. What I don't know what that really is. And also, like, I really want to watch that Dear Future Husband video, but, like, listen, i lazy. <laughs> Real lazy here. And then finally, we have HTML, who has not been posting a lot. There's an hour-long video on important things that I did not watch, but I'm assuming it's about burnout or even just, like, being unable to upload for whatever reason. And as we can see, like, she does a lot of crack content, <laughs> which is fine. And six months ago, she's like, since Italia isn't as popular as it used to be, would you like me to do other animes and such on my channel or just keep doing Italia? And I said yes. A bunch of people said no. And I think people took this as to mean she would never post another Italia video again, which isn't what we mean when we say, could we do other stuff? It's simply hey, I have interest in other shows, would y'all like to see that? And I feel like getting that kind of response, just a heavy no, is like really like mean and rude and granted, like she gave y'all the option to say no, but like, I feel kind of bad for HTML because I feel like she out of all of us suffers the worst burnout because her username is Hitalia Took My Life. If she doesn't post Hitalia content, then is she a real Hitalia YouTuber? It's such like a sad state of affairs in my opinion. And I really hope that all of these YouTubers, if they have a passion for other shows, anime or things, do post on their channels these other shows or things. But I just want to show you guys that this Hitalia YouTube stuff isn't sustainable. Even people that seem to love the show to its very core struggle to make videos on it at times because there's only so much content you can do on it. Especially if, say, you have a crap editor and you can't make edits or you just don't have the means to do it. Like, I... It's such a sad state of affairs and I want to war warn you guys against it because, listen, Making a, Italia, a channel based solely off Italia is not easy. And you could end up getting burnout and leaving the fandom. Like, part of me feels like, I'm not saying this is true, but HTML might leave the fandom because, listen, burnout, it's a horrible thing. It, and it makes you feel terrible. 
So now some of you may be asking, so so what? You can talk the talk, but like, what's the point? And I, and the thing is, I just have some suggestions and what are they? Well, one of them would be if you're so dead set, if you're so bushy tail and doe eyed to make a Hitalia YouTube channel, I would just suggest pacing yourself. Like, sure, you're gonna be in the fever of it or uh, one time, but just understand that maybe not every video is going to go well. Not everything's going to go your way. Things just come up that you can't be able to do. And I just set proper expectations for yourself. Also, if you're really thinking about doing it long term, there's going to be a point in your career, maybe it's super early, may, maybe it's very later, like two years later, where you're like, oh crap, I've been doing nothing but Italia, and I'm getting burnt out, and I don't know what to do. You're gonna have to have a conversation with yourself and be like, do I want this channel to die because I just want to completely rebrand, make a totally other channel? Or do I want to rebrand on the same channel, still doing certain Italia content, but with other shows or anime or whatever? And then you're gonna have to prepare yourself for losing subscribers or having dead subscribers. I have both. <laughs> Every time I upload a non-Hitalia video, I lose subscribers, and I have a bunch of dead ones too. Like, it's fine, that's fine, everything's fine, but the, those are things you're gonna have to tell yourself. My other suggestion would be, maybe you like to make edits, or maybe you like to make art, or maybe you just like to talk about Hitalia. All the stuff I do can easily be done on, like, Instagram <laughs> or Tumblr, maybe not necessarily Twitter, but Instagram, Amino, Tumblr, those three sites right there is a really great way to interact and connect with the Hitalia community because a lot of Hitalia fans have Instagram, have Tumblr, have Aminos. And you want to do top tens on Instagram, you can upload up to 10 photos at a time. You want to talk about theories or anything, Instagram is a really great place for that. There's a lot of Instagram Hitalia accounts that currently do that. They do edits. So maybe you you think YouTube's the best place because one, you can make money off of it. And then second, YouTube just has such a wide audience. I would highly recommend thinking of Instagram because one, uploading and posting to Instagram or Tumblr or Amino is a lot easier than uploading to YouTube. Second of all, I would question why the money part is important to you if it's important at all. Because listen, I've been doing this for like three, four, maybe even five years now, and I am nowhere near getting monetized. There's only two Italian YouTubers I know that are monetized, and listen, half the time they don't even get their money because they curse, and that's fine. And then my final suggestion would definitely be to watch, if you're still super dead set on just making an Italian YouTube channel, Hedifax made a video specifically talking about how to get famous on YouTube. Uh, I'm gonna link that below. I watched it. I don't remember what it's about. Don't kill me. But I'm- it's head of facts. I, I'm pretty sure there's some good- <laughs> good things in there. So I'll just link it below even though I can't remember what's on it. And just, y'all, just limit your expectations. That's the final piece of parting wisdom. Limit your expectations. I'm learning how to do that, and let me tell you it's very hard, because I have a wild imagination. So I hope y'all like this video, and again, I don't mean to be like mean or bashing anyone I've talked about in this video or anyone that wants to make Italian content. I'm just saying from personal experience and what I can gather from the rest of the panel of Italian YouTubers is that, um, burnout is a real thing, and it sucks. And you're gonna question your entire life because of burnout, but it's gonna be fine because I know some of you will listen to this information. And for those of you that don't, I wish you good luck on your journey. Anyways, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe for more random fandom things. Ciao, chicos.